Henrik Lundqvist, the goalie of the Rangers, now waiting to see who they're going to play. And he joins us now on the phone. Henrik, it's Michael and Don. How you doing? I'm good. How you guys doing? We're doing all right. Now, I, I, I got to ask you because most people say, well, I'm not going to watch. Will you watch tonight Islanders Caps? Uh, I'll probably watch part, parts of it. Uh, Are you rooting I've been for anybody? I've a lot of hockey last couple of days, but it's hard not to. You, you want to just, you know, stay involved and see what's going on around you. But um, obviously, it's it's pretty exciting times right now to try to find out who we're going to face and start preparing for that. Now, I'm not going to ask you who you're rooting for because you won't tell me, but are you rooting for one of the two teams? <laughs> well, I think no matter who we'll face, it's going to be a fun series. You know, over the past few years, we played Washington a lot in the playoffs, and mm-hmm. it's been a lot of great games. And, and obviously, if we play the Islanders, it, it will be uh, very special for for a lot of different reasons. So I look forward to it. You know, it's, it's going to be a great series, I think, and... and um, yeah, a great challenge as well. I know one thing you're rooting for, seven overtimes, right? <laughs> the longer, the better. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Now, let's go back uh, over the Pittsburgh series before we talk about moving forward. Four wins, all 2-1. Uh, how is it to play in, in that tension convention type of moment where you know any mistake can cost you the game? Well, I think it's exciting. Uh, but I think rule number one is not to think about one mistake can cost you everything. You try just to be focused on what you need to do and be very positive about your game and your team's game and, and believe that you will win. So you have a good feeling when you're out there, especially towards the end of every game where things get a little more intense and, and the importance of every save and shot you know, increase. So. You, you you just try to stay positive and enjoy that moment too. It's so much fun, especially to play at home and the way we ended last year. Is uh, you're definitely on a high note right there. And uh, now Henrik Lundqvist is with us. And Henrik, uh, your coach Elaine Vigneault, throughout that whole Pittsburgh series, was complaining about how you were being manhandled and uh, they were taking shots at you. You didn't seem like you were complaining that much, but is it an issue when a goalie's allowed to be hit as much as you were? Uh. I don't know. It's a tough question. I think uh, when you go into playoffs, you have to expect more contact. Uh, but there was definitely a couple games there where uh, you didn't feel great after the games, taking a couple of shots to the head a few times. And uh, it's not something that you you don't want to create something, so you don't talk too much about it. But it was definitely challenging the way they were coming to the net. And um, as much as I you know, find it tough. You uh, have to give them some credit, too, that the way they were playing, they were coming hard to the net, and a lot of their chances were just create. You know, they tried to create something from rebounds or, or screens, and, um, you know, they made it tough. But uh, it was mm-hmm. also uh, fun to play because you could you could feel the intensity in, in front of the net, and uh, it, it was just a battle. Well, Hank, the way they're letting it go, uh, do you have faith that if you whack them back, if you retaliated, that they'd also give you a break? Uh, you know, sometimes when they see a reaction, they know that they can get to you. So mm-hmm. I'd rather just look the other way, and, 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 and sometimes that's better because they, they're not sure if it's helping or not to, to try to get in your face. And honestly, sometimes I play better when I'm – a little pissed off or upset, you know, I, I, I get more um, energy. But at the same time, you, you need to be focused on, on your game and really stopping the puck. That's it. Now, those that, that listen and watch the show know that Hank is nice enough. He comes on with us a lot. Mm-hmm. And um, the last time he was on, I, I gave you some advice, Henrik. I, I don't know if you remember. I said, <laughs> yeah. get this done in five. Let's not yeah. do the whole seven. And you listen. So how, how much of a positive is that for this team? Well, this time around, I, I think it really helped us. Um, we had a couple guys who all banged up and need a couple extra days to recover. I remember last year we played six games in nine days. We had a back-to-back game six, seven, and then one day of rest and then start the new series. That was really tough. So this time around we get a couple of days off and regroup and, and, and enjoy this a little bit and then start focusing on the next one. So it's a little different and definitely a good timing for us to kind of regroup and, and heal a little bit and, and no, just get better now, I don't know if you know any better than I do, but it's probably looking like Thursday. So that would be six days, almost a week. Is that too much, or is that just enough time to take that break? 
Um, you can look at it, you know, both ways. I think it's important that we just practice with high intensity, and and especially the last two days before the game, you really ramp it up and, and go hard. And you don't have to go long, but when you're out there, you you need intensity and then almost have a game feeling out there when when you practice. That's the key. And then I think the first five minutes, you, you doesn't matter when it's a new series. You kind of feel it out a little bit, but you just try to throw yourself in there and, and go as hard as you can.